Hi guys and welcome to your weeklies. Congrats to Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius and Sagittarius. Uh, please check my website for the current specials and take advantage of them. I'm open for the readings. Also try to find me on the Facebook and that way you can get the immediate answer. Hi Taurus and welcome to your like weekly telescope. Just want to let you know this is going to be a little bit more than a week because next uh, week there is a, a solar shift going from Pisces to Aries and hence you know I'm going to skip this weekly because it would be just kind of repetition. So we are going to have the monthly coming up. Also, you know, my private readings are available and just check it out because I still have this uh, 20 minutes, it's just $30 and special and I get 30 minutes. So it's a really good opportunity to kind of like try it out because I suggest to people to start with a small reading first. And then if you really want to know everything about everybody, then go for fly on the wall reading where you find absolutely everything. So. Let's see what is this week. Oh yeah, just to let you know also um, that I'll continue with this Access series and those series will be coming around the first of the month. And I'm considering uh, one more spread, which is about soulmate potential, where we'll be exploring what we have to do to be the best we can be in our kind of like, I mean, solar sign or also how to connect to the other solar signs and I'm just trying to see also how that would work for the moon signs and everything and when I get it right I'll get it out and I'm hoping that's going to be um, ready for uh, the first week or first two weeks in April all right so let's see what is in store for Taurus for the reminder of the March Taurus 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 Okay, woohoo, woohoo, good for you Taurus to see, you are in the mood for love, I like that, actually lots of signs had that and it kind of looks like the spring must be in the air, many of us are really uh, feeling a little bit better and uplifted, so let's see how this, uh, these two weeks will resolve. Looks like Matrix is really joining us. Okay. Let me see. Taurus, Taurus, you have lots of lots of C energy. One, two, three, four. So you really are in the mood mood for love. But you also have um you also have grounding yourself. So anyway, let's start from the beginning. How are you coming to this reading? You're feeling a little bit burnt out. Probably this whole long winter kind of made you a little bit kind of like out of your element. But it looks like you're coming, coming back with being protective toward your loved ones and sort of like able to move ahead with kind of like tasks pretty much daily task and this is kind of your earth element so it's kind of like something really comfortable comfortable energy uh, for you so from the past you bring into this moment grace major arcana you had to learn how to how to poise yourself how to feel confident how to um, how to kind of like walk through emotions high emotions without getting too engaged right because I see here in your past, you kind of like felt that you have been taken for granted a little bit and kind of that left you very lethargic and a little bit kind of disappointed in, in kind of like love affairs or like people who are really close to you. But you handle it without, you know, harsh words. You ha handle it with grace and kind of like speaking uh, basically your thing and yet walking through all these issues slowly and trying to not to go too deep and not to not not to kind of slip or harm yourself because if you see the water is really jumping out from all sides so the lesson for you for the next uh, couple of weeks it's kind of interesting uh, fire of king reversed is is basically a king who is going a little bit nuts right so it would be a charismatic person upright who who kind of like understands his tools understands and believes in his project 
right? Um, so let's say that would be a tarot reader or somebody who is really doing this to help people and truly believe that, you know, this can guide us and it can help some people. Here would be somebody who kind of pulls the card, you know, when the camera is not rolling, you're just telling nice things because they just want the money from you. So this is basically a lesson for you that when you're committing yourself to something, commit yourself for the right reasons. Uh, don't waste your time on frivol teaser and don't be fake, neither to yourself nor to anybody else. And this is going to be uh, enforced by actually trying to see things from the other people's perspective, right? So it's really easy when we have only our perspective, but like, I mean, we always in life interact with other people who have different kind of timelines who have um, different paths that kind of brought them to this point and we kind of have to at this present point learn how to deal with all these energies and kind of like to kind of try to see it from their standpoint helps and this is basically also major arcana it's a really good lesson right now like I mean you're you're not feeling that great you feel actually emotional exhausted so like when I pull this card here we're going to yourself via yeah, right and look actually underneath you have another three of C and underneath you have another cup card so yeah you know believe it or not it is turning around uh, this is no longer going to happen you're in a way out so you have pretty much everything look at this four five two <laughs> three seven <laughs> these are all your cards and then you'll have ten in the end so Brace yourself, it's going to be really interesting, right? Uh, you have to learn these lessons. You have to have a part of your energy nourishing, but you also have to do things for the right reasons and not to kind of like go ahead just because you can. And just because somebody took you for granted in the past and that made you feel very sad doesn't mean it's going to happen in the future. Because believe it or not, other people feel that you, you kind of like understand uh, you kind of get things right you like comfort and this is the ultimate enjoyment of the family uh, which basically you get there through through this kind of like exercising this grace and kind of like enjoying your life and building your life slowly and this is like also see you were taking care of the others you didn't you know snap at them if something happened and maybe all these events this is why you had the Sun here in verse because it's kind of made you feel a little bit um, turn this around a little bit. Made you feel like burned out, and and this is another fire. So yeah, I can see that these events you had to carry on your shoulder. Literally took a lots of focus to walk through this without really snapping it. And the others are seeing that you now have ability to actually materialize this beautiful home, this kind of a like beautiful wish. And that's why this two of C and this this can also mean. Um, commitment this can also mean celebration so if you guys are getting engaged this week or getting proposed it might happen it's a it's a really good combination however you still have some fears to resolve you see nine of sky is here and this is that anxiety that something bad will happen because you're still shaking off and this is your like I mean near past which you kind of felt betrayed and you felt kind of let down and you don't want to go through that and you know what uh, Taurus there are no guarantees <laughs> there are no guarantees this is why going through this lesson the floating cat and going through this humble lesson of our king what you're learning here is to understand other people and hence you'll be able to better understand the motives and maybe see where things are going with that particular person and um, focus on that focus on learning this lesson because each lesson takes you closer to this final goal and karma always rewards you when you pass the lesson and this is not um, this is actually a really valuable lesson where you actually are able to see the perspective on life from somebody else's eyes especially when you're looking in perspective from somebody who with whom you don't see things eye to eye so it's kind of interesting to go through this kind of exercise so the end of the March is going to be 10 of C reversed so again there is that you know fear this is reversed this is fear of not getting there fear that something will happen to prevent it because it obviously happened in the past so as I said there are no guarantees there are no guarantees in love 
But the fact that other people see you as somebody who can generate that, that they see you, that you actually have conquered certain things in the past, is really important. It's also important that you're learning all these lessons, and it's important that this is what karma is right now having in store for you. So you have to trust yourself. You have to trust that you will either take care of the people uh, close to you, or that somebody will take care of you and carry you through the like, I mean, times you need. So, and this is your earth energy, and, and this is your earth energy. Two strongest cards have your energy. So, I would just say, you know what, go baby steps. Go one by one and get there. So, even if you get into this, like, I mean, slump where you feel, oh gosh, I'm going through this fear again, I have this anxiety. Just go deep inside of yourself and try to detect why you have that. And, and this lesson that you had looking at uh, things from different perspectives will definitely help. So, Taurus, uh, check out the dailies and check out the really shortly upcoming monthly. And in the meantime, uh, get a private reading if you want to get specific energy just for yourself. Thanks for your time. Love you.